forced to give up royal duties to serve the world. Prince Harry was exhausted. On February 26, Harry and Meghan became the most sought after subjects in the world's newspapers and media when they won the NAACP award. This is probably one of the first achievements of pride that the Sussexes have had since leaving the royal family. However, the couple's actions and statements made the audience semi-doubtful about their intentions. Specifically, many body language experts said that Harry and Meghan had two opposite expressions in the moment of receiving the award. You can see from the moment the couple took to the stage, Harry has kept an annoyed and unhappy face while accompanying his wife. Moreover, after the MC gave the cup to Meghan, she immediately gave it to Harry. I think our Duke of Sussex was bewildered by this confusing act of his wife. In the moment when he received the NAACP award, Harry rarely smiled. Maybe it was just a fake smile to maintain politeness. According to the body language experts analysis, why is that? Did this couple argue behind the scenes? I'm kidding. I'll tell you why right now. Many people believe that Harry has been living an unhappy life in America because he has had too many troubles in his life from family to work. In the past year, 2021, Harry has been criticized by the public for his anti-royal attitude. Besides, he is also said to be a husband who is dominated by his wife. Body language experts have carefully analyzed the differences between the Sussexes and the Cambridges. Specifically, they said that between Kate and William, there is always equality. In their moments in public, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge always have mutual respect and support for each other. However, this was not found by them in the relationship between Harry and Meghan. Experts say that the relationship between Harry and Meghan is submissive. Harry is always the one who notices Meghan's face when he gives his opinion. You can easily see this when you watch the moment he spoke at the NAACP awards ceremony. I often joke that maybe Meghan is older, so a young pilot like Harry would have to have a respectful attitude towards his muse. However, many are outraged that Harry has sacrificed too much for Meghan without earning her respect. At events the couple attended, Meghan always has a gesture of touching Harry's hand to signal he should end the conversation. Meghan's impoliteness makes Prince Harry awkward many times. Harry and the man are dominated by his wife. Is this true? I'm sorry to say this, but I totally agree with that opinion. I think Harry has loved his wife too much to be blind and the person Meghan is. You know, scheming and cunning. Meghan is said to have quite successful in convincing Harry to leave the royal family. Perhaps this will be one of her proudest achievements. I think Harry has been led by her ever since the two of them started dating. Harry always follows through with the decisions Meghan asks, especially after leaving the royal family for the U.S. The Duke of Sussex has almost no say of his own in every decision. Why do I say that? Remember the couple's fateful interview with chat mogul Oprah Winfrey? Meghan made the mistake of slandering the royal family with a racist attitude for not giving Archie the title of prince. According to the royal decree, the son of the Sussex family can only be crowned when Prince Charles becomes king. 
This ordinance has been in existence for over 100 years, and I believe Harry knows it very well. However, during that conversation, Harry did not speak up to defend his family against Meghan's wrongdoing. This act made him an ungrateful son of the royal family. Do you see? He did not dare to speak up to confront Meghan. What he did was to keep quiet and let his wife act on her own. I think Meghan is the one who has the main influence on Meghan's actions and decisions. Not only me, but members of the royal family also knew this. Specifically, Queen Elizabeth II, Princess Camilla, and Princess Catherine had a meeting to discuss Harry's problem. They have realized that Harry's biggest problem now is Meghan because she is the biggest obstacle to preventing him from returning to the royal family. However, even the queen could not find a way to save Harry because he was the one to decide. All three powerful women of the royal family have finally agreed that they will give the Sussexes the warmest possible welcome to help Harry relieve the pressure. Returning to the NAACP awards ceremony, both Harry and Meghan made quite insightful statements about their views on issues of racial equality and progress. In particular, Harry said, we share a commitment to living a life of service, a responsibility to fight injustice and believe that often the things that are overlooked the most are also the most important things to be. Listen. Although Harry may have been very enthusiastic in his statement, Netsians have discovered a ridiculous point in Harry's statement. Do you know what that is? Harry and Meghan are proving to the world that they will dedicate themselves to serving the world while, at the same time, shirk their responsibilities to the royal family. What do you notice in this action of Harry and Meghan? They are willing to trample and abandon their families to run for something bigger to be recognized by the audience. I think they will be severely criticized for making this decision. In January 2020, Harry and Meghan surprised the British people and the royal family with the couple's decision to step down. Harry used to think that life in the royal family was extremely toxic and he didn't want it to affect his wife and children. Harry's words like cutting into the heart made many people angry. Harry was selfish in making this decision. Prince William was once very disappointed in his younger brother. In an interview, William shared, I seem to have lost my brother and the best friend of my life. Needless to say, everyone knows that this decision of Harry has an impact on Meghan. She took a big part in this decision. The couple's interview with Oprah Winfrey revealed all of Meghan's toxic thoughts about the royal family, and thanks to it, the audience got to know the real face of these two. One of Meghan's biggest reasons for deciding to leave the royal family was the pressure and strict discipline of the British monarchy. She once shared that she often wakes up in the middle of the night crying, even thinking about suicide to end everything. We don't know very well what happens in the royal family, but Meghan was so weak in front of Harry that he worried and made the decision to leave the family. I'm not sure that's the real Meghan. Maybe she couldn't find a place of power in the royal family. That's why she made up her mind to leave it. Previously, some sources say that Meghan had ambition to become U.S. president. She used to be very active in politics before marrying Harry. However, as a member of the royal family, Meghan must abide by the rules of the queen. 
One of the things that disillusioned the Duchess of Sussex is that the royal family strictly forbids members from engaging in political activities. I bet it's largely for this reason that Meghan Markle wants to leave the royal family. Of course, she took advantage of Harry's love to achieve her goals. Isn't our Harry pitiful? Meghan's selfishness and greed completely dominated Harry. Although not very happy, but Harry has endured this very well. What do you think Harry will be in years to come? There comes a time when he can't take it anymore and turns against Megan. Do you believe he will do this? Let us know your thoughts below in the comment section. See you in the next videos. See ya!